Yeah, this is, I guess, gonna be my first sort of walkthrough. It's still a mess because it's still, you know, in the early phase of the construction. This is the two car garage. I've added extra space on this side because the worst thing about a garage sometimes is not having the space to be able to put your lawnmower and tools like that. So there's space for it here on this side of the garage. This back here is where the um, storm shelter is gonna go. This room right here is where the water softener, water heater, and pressure tank for the well is gonna go. All right, we wanna come in through the garage door into what will be the uh, utility room with the washer, dryer, and utility sink. Entering into the kitchen. On this side is the pantry. This will be a fairly large kitchen. In this space right over here, we'll go a side-by-side -side, full-size freezer and refrigerator. The counter will wrap around. The sink will go over here. And roughly where this is, it's gonna be the, um, I guess it's gonna be a sink on the island. The gas service will feed here for the cooktop. This will be a 48 inch cooktop. Essentially the equivalent of eight burners. It's gonna have six burners and a griddle. More counter space is gonna go over here with cabinets. This is approximately where the coffee bar will go. A large dining room. No longer is a dining room an afterthought. This dining room is large enough to have a very large table that seats 12 people, still leaving you with room for a buffet or a hutch or something. There's plenty of room in this room. So great for entertaining large crowds. This is the bonus or craft room. It's a lot of space. If you wanted, you could close this area off, make it into a closet, and turn this into another bedroom. Of course, it will have its own backyard access. You could put a little private patio over here and a walkway around to the main patio. This area over here will be the living room. A lot of space. It's bigger than I thought it was actually. Probably this is the wall where the um, cabling will go for like the TV cable, network cable to feed in for, you know, things like your game systems or whatever. This is a very large covered patio. It must have, in my opinion, a ceiling fan. Gotta have a ceiling fan here, it's too hot. French door coming in off the master bedroom. I will get to that room in a moment. This right here is the den, or you know, home office. Plenty of room for a nice size desk in here. A lot of natural light from the window. Instead of having a tiny closet, I had them go with a much larger closet. And this is where, this will be the central location where all the cabling will feed in for like your full home um, network, your security system, everything. Everything will feed into this closet um, and, you know, feed out to all the different rooms and then out to like where the internet will come in from the outside, like for the fiber. So one nice central location for everything. Here's something you don't see too often. This large entryway, which still needs a door. Roughly, I don't know if you can see the little lines are out on here. The walls want to go right there with a the door. So the idea is that this will be a private foyer. So if the bugs get in, those big giant mosquito looking things, they don't actually get into your house. They can't make it, you know, no further than this. And something you don't see in very many houses. Instead of a closet to hang your coats in, you have a full coat room. A little window for some light. 
plenty of room to be able to come in and hang your clothes, hang your coats up, put your shoes down the bottom, out of sight, out of mind. Then we're cramming it into something the width of a door. I'm going to save the best for last, which is the master. This will be like your secondary bedroom. Um, I don't know, like a kid's room, could be a game room or whatever you want to turn it into. It's got a small walk-in closet. Of course, everything has a view here of the woods, which is wonderful. This area right here, hard to really see right now, but this space is going to be closed off. This will be a, cl um, a closet where you can put your linens or whatever else, brooms, vacuum cleaner, things like that. This is essentially, this room, the corner room here is essentially a junior suite. Sorry, I get back up a little bit and give you a better look. The great thing about this room, it was designed to be as ADA compliant as possible. So if you have a family member that has a wheelchair, this is the perfect room for them. That is the closet back there, big enough for a wheelchair. I'm a big guy, I can walk in here no problem. So plenty of room in this. And here is the wheelchair accessible bathroom. Plenty of room for the toilet and room to get to it. And this will be a shower that is designed where you put a little rubber ramp. You can roll into the shower. Um, yeah. Plenty of room to get in and out. All right, off to the final part, the master bedroom. There's gonna be more built here. There's lines down here, you probably can't see them very well. The wall's gonna be built out a little bit here and here by this door and here as well. Um, and bookcase is gonna be put in. At least that's the plan anyways. The pair of sinks will go here. That is the master shower in there. Your throne room. I guess you can see there's quotes on that. And a little extra closet for towels or whatever. The Master closet. Plenty of room in here as well. So that concludes the tour.